Ah, there you are. This is the second story about Dato Sri Sri Ram, who was my master. And this is a story of how I first appeared before him and how he responded to me. So then I become a pupil, I qualify, I get into the bar, I have my own firm. My master became a judge of the Court of Appeal by direct promotion. I think the first time anybody in Malaysia was appointed directly. The last time it happened was in England, a man called Lord Goff was appointed directly to the Court of Appeal. You know Lord Goff, the guy who wrote a book on restitution, very famous. So anyway, I turn up at the Court of Appeal, it's packed, 110 cases are listed and the cases are called leave applications. When your quantum of damages is less than 250,000, you have to ask permission from the Court of Appeal to apply for leave. If they think it's a meritorious case, they will allow you leave, otherwise you'll get thrown out. The applications usually last about five minutes. You have to actually tell the judges what's so important about your case. The place was filled to the brim with men. We couldn't walk right through to the center. All of our bags, we had to put one on top of the other. And mine was number 68. And I was thinking, oh my God, when will I get my turn? 110 matters. Will it be, you know, another eight hours before he calls me and he was presiding. So as the cases were being called, most of the leave applications were being dismissed. He said, what? 2-0? You lost in the Sessions Court. You lost in the High Court. Take your applications, throw it in the bin next to the policeman and off you go. And this is how things went. And I was afraid because I was operating a 2-0 position. We had lost in the Sessions Court, we had lost in the High Court. I was thinking, Bunkos la, today, finish, he's going to pack me off. Number 68. At number 60, which he got to, you won't believe me, in exactly 60 minutes. In number 60, this man makes his way with great difficulty to the front of the court because there was a press of bodies and it's his smallot. I am from Salawak. Uh, yesterday I come very late. Uh, no time to prepare. Uh, uh, can I please uh, ask the attendant? I come tomorrow. So Dr. Sri Gopal Sri Ram looks at him like this and says, Your application is dismissed. So this gentleman, disappointed, turns and walks back to the heart of the court. It took him all of two minutes to get there because so many people were standing, no place to sit. My master waited until he got to the middle of the court and then he says, Mr. Lim! And then Mr. Lim turns. Your application is for leave, isn't it? Yes, my lord. I rejected your application for an adjournment. There was a breach of contract. Your quantum is 250,000 ringgit or less and you ask for leave. There is a very important clause in your agreement. Have you read it? My lord, my lord, I haven't looked at the report. Well, why don't you look at page 243, paragraph 2. It says this and then he quotes this passage in the contract without looking at any documents and he says, leave granted. The respondent rises and says, my lord, I want to object. Oh, I don't think leave should be granted. He said, I've given leave. Come back and argue the merits next month. Off you go. And that was it. And then it was my turn. So as I come, he takes my application and he moves it under his elbow. And my application is about this thick. He puts his elbow like that and he says, yeah. So I said, my Lord, I'm so and so, respondent so and so. May I please apply for leave? So he says, stop, stop, don't talk. I said, my Lord, did I ask you to talk? And then he launches off into this furious statement. He says, I tell you all, when you apply for leave, and he's shaking his head, don't hurl a flimsy piece of paper at me. Condescend to particulars. You can't throw a flimsy piece of bare paper at me and expect me to guess what your application is. So I said, my lord, did I ask you to talk? Be quiet. And then he does this to me. He talks to the other judges and he makes me wait. <laughs> Yeah, what was that? Leave. Yeah. 
At the end of this tirade, I tell him, my lord, would you mind looking below your elbow at this 1,400 page set of documents I had indicated? And he looks at me and says, leave granted, go. And this is how it was. And then my opponent rises as usual and objects and he says, he waves him away. It's a very important point uh, under this particular rules of court. It's no decision has been made on this point. I think it's a valid point he's making. Off you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got another story I'll tell you shortly. Thank you.